gosh, this is gonna be such a cringy video. Girl. Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Kayla, and welcome to my channel. Today, guys, we are going to be rediscovering what is inside of my third grade backpack. Yes, this really was my backpack from third grade. It says Little Miss Giggles on it, and yeah, she was like a character from this little book series that I used to be obsessed with. Anyway, I found this the other day and I peeked inside because I was really curious to see what was in there and literally there is still school stuff inside. Like, girl, I guess I never clean my backpack out at the end of the year. I would just get a new one every year. So this is going to be really, really, really interesting to say the least. It's probably going to be pretty cringeworthy too, so just be warned. I don't really know what to expect exactly, but anyways guys, without further ado, we are just going to get straight into this video and see what is inside of this backpack, and I hope that you'll enjoy watching. So, let's begin. I guess we'll start off with the front compartment. I'm really not sure if there's going to be anything in here or not, but I guess we'll check all the different compartments just in case, okay? Oh, here we go. Oh, there's stuff in here. Okay, so, oh my gosh, the first thing I see, oh, this is so weird. I, this is like, I feel like I'm reliving my third grade childhood right now. Okay, so uh, for those of you that didn't know, I used to collect these little um, pencil toppers called squishies. And look how old they look. Look at this elephant. He used to be a shiny sky blue color. He used to be like my favorite one. And look at it, it literally turned like yellow because this thing is over a decade old, over a decade old. Oh, I had a glow in the dark kangaroo, which is also yellow now. Oh my gosh, this pig. It used to be like a bubblegum pink and again, it has like this weird yellow like look to it now. We got some penguins, they're all just so ripped up. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, the cow, they're all yellow. Like all the white ones turn yellow. That is so crazy. But okay, so we're already off to a pretty good start. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, so I have a random unopened bracelet. It's from Eaton Park. It says, smiling is my favorite. Yeah, Eaton Park is a Pittsburgh thing. It's like a restaurant that sells smiley face cookies. I must not have been too interested in it though because it's still unopened. <gasps> Okay, this is like, girl. <gasps> I feel so nostalgic right now. Who remembers Smensels? A lot of you watching this probably might be too young to remember these. Oh my gosh, it still smells good. I'm not even kidding you. So Smensels were literally scented pencils. And this one is very berry. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, they used to be like the thing to collect. Everybody loved Smensels. I remember my favorite one was root beer. Ugh, I wish that the root beer one was in here. That would just be amazing. But okay, let's keep going. Oh my gosh. This is, this is like really exciting and sad at the same time. So this is like a little lip smacker pouch thingy majiggy. I don't even know how to describe it. It says... Pet Pals Pencil Bag Collection, and I wonder, oh my gosh, it says, it says the names of the flavors that were in here, I don't even remember having these, I wish so badly that the Lip Smackers would have been in here, that just hit me in the face, but I wish that the Lip Smackers would have been in here, that would have made it like so much more exciting, but the flavors apparently were Sugars Holiday Cookie, Arctic's Mint Smoothie, Kiwi's Fruit Pie, Cupcake's Strawberry Frosting, Strawberry's Sprinkle Cake, and Moose's Choco Mousse. Oh my gosh, vintage lip smackers. If the lip smackers were still inside, I probably would have like passed out from excitement because these are rare. Um, all right, let's see, anything else? No, so there's nothing else in that compartment, but I'm going to also be checking the sides, although I don't really think there's gonna be anything in there. Yeah, nothing in this one, and then, oh wait, there's something in here. Oh my gosh, so pocket back alert. <gasps> Ooh, coconut lime verbena. This smells so good. You know what, I actually remember when I got this. It was at my friend Monica's birthday party. And I remember everybody got like $10 to spend at Bath and Body Works. And it was really hard to just spend $10. So I remember pocket bags were like the only thing I could find. And I didn't really like this scent at the time. So I guess I never used it. But I think there was another one in here. Yeah, oh my gosh. Cucumber melon. 
Guys, clearly I must have liked this one more than this one. But that is so weird. I literally remember when I bought these and I remember feeling really lost inside of Bath and Body Works. Like not actually like, oh my gosh, I'm lost. I was never into Bath and Body Works until I was like maybe 12 and I just didn't even know what to buy. So pocket bags for the win. All right, anyways, there is nothing else inside of those compartments, but now we are going to look inside here. Now I did take a glimpse, but I just took a glimpse and that was it because I wanted to save all the excitement for you guys. So, okay, there, there's a lot of stuff that's inside of here still. So first of all, oh, we have this Hello Kitty folder and it says, cutie squad, get it started. Ooh, ooh, it's a Hello Kitty cheerleader. And oh my gosh, there's actual papers in here from school. This is so weird. Girl, oh my gosh. I'm gonna show them to you guys. So this was like one of those papers where you have to fill out, I guess, your favorite things and just talk about yourself. So I will read you what I put, okay? And I spelled my name differently. I, I went through this weird phase in third grade where I spelled my name differently like every day. And this day I spelled it K-A-I-L-A. -A. There was also a time where I spelled it K-A-I-Y-L-A-H. My teacher called my mom about it. Anyway. Okay, so here were my fill in the blank answers. I am funny. I wonder how to fly. I hear my teacher. I see my paper. I want to keep my friend Katie. What the heck? I am kind. I pretend I am a chef. Except I actually spelled it chief, not chef. I meant to say chef. I pretend I am a chef. I feel my pencil. I touch my desk. I worry about my very old mouse. <laughs> oh yeah, I used to have mice. Um, I cry when I am all alone. I am thinking. <laughs> it literally says I am and I put thinking because I was thinking about what to write. Duh. I understand math. Wow, how things have changed. I say a lot and some things never change. And then I dream about good things and bad things. And then it says, I am loving. And then at the bottom, I just had to add, I am so bright. Literally, look, I am so bright. Wow. Okay then, let's see. Um, oh my gosh, this is third grade me. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so the reason that I'm going like this is because the two third grade teachers would always like fight with each other because one teacher loved Pitt and the other loved Penn State and my teacher was team Pitt. I remember we put them in the hallway and like, I don't know. All right, Lucky, hi. You done? Okay. Yeah, you're done? Okay. Anyway, I'm getting such a kick out of this right now. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so this paper says, my school experiences and I guess I wrote about my school experiences. I don't know, let's read about it says, age eight and a half. My first year in kindergarten was not the best for me. Everything was a little different and I did not know anyone or anything. Although that's just the beginning of my not so wonderful year. And I put that in air quotes. Okay. As time went by, things got worse and worse. And this was kindergarten? Oh, I'm intrigued, let's keep reading. Things got worse and worse. As you know, when you're in kindergarten, you should miss your parents a little. Now that was my big issue. Now this might sound like cheating to you. Cheating? Okay, so this might sound like cheating to you, but when my mom was dropping me off at school one day, she said, whenever you feel sick, you can go to the nurse and I'll pick you up. But just then I got an idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. When I came into class that day, I raised my hand, holding my stomach, and I said in a very whiny voice, My stomach hurts. Oh my gosh. So my teacher took me to the nurse who I had never seen before. The nurse was examining a child. That's when I got scared. <laughs> she was examining a child. I'm not too particular about what exactly happened in the nurse's office but what i do remember is that my teacher gave me a choice to go to lunch or go home and you probably know what i picked 
to go home. And so to believe it or not, another not so good issue I had was my lunch shade. I think it was her eyeshadow and her haircut that freaked me out. And the whole reason I didn't want to go to lunch was because of the lunch aid. Uh, okay, so I'm not really sure what prompted me to write this in the first place, my school experiences, when really I just talked about kindergarten and how I didn't want to be there and how my lunch aid scared me because of her eyeshadow and haircut. Girl, I was quite the character. Let's keep looking. <laughs> uh, all right. Ooh, so we have this big megaphone thing next, and it says... Kayla draw. Oh, okay. So it says great vertically and we had to like make up, I guess, describing words um, using these letters. So in order, we have G for gorgeous hair, R for really talented at jump rope, E for excited about going to Virginia, A for am a cookie lover, okay, and T for tiny pretty eyes. <laughs> Girl, I had confidence. Gorgeous hair, pretty eyes, tiny, um, a cookie lover. Okay, there is one more paper in here. And it says, oh, okay. It's another like about me thing. I love papers like these because it reminds me of like my favorite things when I was little. And it's interesting to see if like some things stayed the same or if they changed. So this assignment was called, I'm proud to be me. Okay, so one skill I have is reading. I know a lot about birds. Hey, that's actually still true. I am really good at cooking. Not so true. I can't even make a grilled cheese. Something that makes me a good student is that I listen to all directions and details that my teacher is telling us. See, you know, I was a teacher's pet back in the day, so I definitely wrote that so my teacher would see it and like me. Okay. I am pleased with my mom. <laughs> Okay, mom, I am pleased with you. Wait, I'm actually gonna go call my mom right now and I'm gonna tell her that I'm pleased with her and see what she says, okay? Hello? Hey, mom. Yeah? I just wanted to tell you that I'm pleased with you. Why, what did I do? I'm just pleased with you. You too. Good. I'm, I'm glad. Feelings are mutual. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> She's pleased with me too. One thing that people like about me is, well this should be interesting, that I'm very caring. Okay. That's a solid answer. I am a good friend because I am caring and kind and also I am very understanding to others. I am best at performing. The reason I'm a good person is because I'm fair and I'm also caring. I am proud of having done these things. Oh, let's see. I am proud of having my homework all done. <laughs> okay, I guess that's, that is something to be proud of. I have discovered this about myself. I am smart and loving. Oh, that's nice of me to say to myself. When I make a mistake, here's what I do. Oh, this is a very long answer, okay? So it says, I think about what I did that was wrong, then I apologize and admit what I did wrong. Oh, well that is a very mature answer for an eight-year-old. One thing I like about myself is that people always want to be my friend. I am a good son or daughter because I don't get mad very easily. When I do not know what to do, I get creative and invent something new. I like that answer. And then, let's see, 16 is, I feel good about myself when I make someone smile and when I make some new friends. And then number 17, which is the last one, says, when people say nice things about me, I smile at them. Very nice. Solid work, third grade, Kayla. Okay, anyway. <gasps> oh my gosh. What is this? That is going to haunt me in my sleep. Why, why, okay, actually though, why does my nose look like a pointy cowboy boot? That's what I wanna know. In my eyes, you know, the eyelashes are actually on point. Like my eyelashes still kinda look like that. Except I look like I didn't sleep in like 12 years and I just drank 
12 cups of coffee to try to make up for those nights of lost sleep. A and this is the result. And it looks like my teeth are also rotting. Okay. That was frightening. Okay. But, okay, there is a bunch of little stuff at the bottom of this backpack. I'm just gonna, like, close my eyes and reach in to see what's in here. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, another smencil. Oh my gosh. A bubblegum smencil. This one doesn't really smell like anything anymore. Girl. This is... This is eye candy to me. Smencils were my everything. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh my gosh. Oh, I remember these. These were like little stamp markers. Oh my gosh. I remember everybody in my class was always really jealous of these. And this one girl that I didn't really like used my green one. And then like the ink ran out because she pressed too hard or something. And I was really salty about that. Memories. A yellow sharpie with my name on it because we always had to label all our school supplies. I loved highlighting things. Um, oh, girl, look at all these twistable pens. That is satisfying. I had like all the colors. Love that. All right, I'm just going to look in now. <gasps> what in the world? Ew. Look at this. I don't know why I just smelled it. It's an empty Dunkin' Donuts cup. There was probably hot chocolate in here. I don't know what else I would have gotten from Dunkin' Donuts in third grade. That's really weird. Um, there's another pocket back in here. This one looks like it's been very loved. This was Dasher's Apple Mint. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. But, oh, When I smell this, actually... I swear it brings back memories from that time period of like third grade. Um, ew, why do I have all this old food in here? This is an empty bag of Cheez-Its and it's quite flat. Um, we have, oh, these are little Japanese erasers. These used to be like really trendy when I was in third grade along with the squishies. All right, and then it looks like we have like a bouncy ball in, wait, this is not a bouncy ball. You've got to be kidding me right now. Is this what I think it is? Girl, there is a literal dried up cutie in here. The sticker says breakaway cutie. It's a cutie. There's fuzzy hairs on it. Okay, I can't touch that anymore. I... That is, wow. I am shook too. The cutie core. Wait, cuties don't have cores. Or do they? No, they don't. They don't. You could just eat it. You, they just have a peel. Never mind. I was trying to make like a clever joke and it didn't work, so. <laughs> Story of my life. Story of my life. Bum, 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 bum. And so guys, that concludes what was inside of my third grade backpack. If you guys found this video entertaining, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also click subscribe and turn on post notifications. It's like ringing the school bell. Get it? Like, uh-uh, because it's a bell icon. <laughs> Anyways, I love you all so, so much. Thank you again for watching. And the question of the day is, what was your favorite grade in school? I love you guys, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.